Our customer needs drive our design and development and provide base for the innovation and development in our product. Being a direct selling manufacturing company, it ensures we are closer to our customers and understand them better. We did extensive survey with more than 1000 loyal and esteemed customers and they asked us to develop product to match their needs and overcome the obstacles which they are facing today. The survey put forward the following challenges in front of us. High initial cost, high corrosion of cage and mast, high power consumption, difficulty in operating the entry and exit door, high maintenance and repair cost. We gave this challenge to our design and production team and thus Spartan manufactured the most advanced multifunctional hoist called SMH-100. SMH-100 is a rack and pinion multifunctional material hoist designed and developed keeping in mind the ever-growing needs of customer to save time, effort and investment in multiple machinery. It is used for carrying all kinds of construction material right from start till finish of the project. Its unique ability is to work as a combination of material hoist and to carry 12 meter long rebars similar to that of tor crane. It also provides added advantage to carry passengers whenever required thereby ensuring greater savings against fleet of equipment. It comes in two models. A basic version consisting of just material cage and the premium version consisting of the cage with rooftop. In both versions, cage is easily dismantled so that the rebar module can be fixed to carry rebar. SMH-100 has 1 ton material carrying capacity cage and 500 kg carrying capacity of 12 meter long rebar. The other model SMH-150 has a bigger cage with carrying capacity of 1.5 ton and 1 ton of 12 meter long rebar. SMH's user friendly design helps in further enhancing the productivity. Wheelbarrow can easily be carried in the cage for material movement till last point. Exit and entry door opens out in the form of ramp and its proper slope helps in movement of wheelbarrow in and out of the cage during loading and unloading. SMH series comes with two types of mast cross section. In one ton capacity hoist, we provide triangular mast whereas for higher capacity of 1.5 ton hoist, square mast is provided. These masts are manufactured using specially designed jigs and fixtures which help to maintain accuracy. Thus, interchangeability between each mast is possible which helps picking up any mast and using it for fitment during height erection. The mast is hot dip galvanized for protection against corrosion. Along with the mast, other critical components like wall tie, exit and entry door, base frame, limit switch mounting brackets are also hot dip galvanized for longer life. The machine is provided with state of the art safety features. Bottom and top limit switches ensure that the machine doesn't travel to ground or to the top beyond a point during operation. For additional safety, final limit switch is also provided. To prevent accidental switching on of the hoist in case of entry or exit door kept open, the hoist is provided with limit switches on both the doors. An indicator represents the same on main control panel along with a buzzer for operator. Further, for safety, a dead mast without a rack is provided to hold the cage in a worst case scenario of overrun at the top. Strong mast hooks provided on the drive unit hold the cage on the mast in above scenario or at the time of maintenance. Centrifugal brake 
which is also called parachute brake, is provided to arrest free fall. These are tested at factory condition and also at site in full load condition. High density spatial rubber buffer pads are provided on the base frame to cushion the impact falling on the hoist in a bow case. There is option for customer to have a base enclosure for additional safety to prevent people entering the working areas of hoist during operation and avoid human fatalities. Along with safety, delivery of high performance is important. Hence, we use world's best hoisting motors made from Nord, Germany. The Nord patented Unicase design combined with high efficiency heli bevel design delivers high torque with an efficiency of 94%. In addition to above, Spartan provides high torque 250 Nm brake motor suitable to lock 1.5 ton load easily. It is one of the most efficient designed motor in line with similar European CE approved hoists. As the overall height of the drive unit is reduced, rebar unloading on top floor is made possible. In order to provide extra support, in-built guying arrangement is provided on the top dead mast. Guying ropes are then tied to the top slab or side beam of the building. To shift from material cage to rebar, one has to remove the support sling on both sides of the entry door. Then the two pins on each side have to be removed and the door is pulled out. Pin type arrangement and modular design makes it easy and faster to dismantle. Then both side panels of the cage are pulled out. The panels are designed in such a fashion that it can be dismantled by two persons. Once open platform is made available, then the bearing housing top is removed, which gives access to the bearing housing. Central module is just placed by matching the central locking position and a bolt of 42 mm dia is used to bolt the module in place. Special custom made spanner is used to tighten the bolt. One by one, all four modules are fixed making a total span of 9 meter in length. Extra support in form of bracings are fixed on each side using D-shackle and heavy-duty turnbuckles. These prevent buckling of modules and provide additional strength. Once the rebar attachment is fixed into the current position, which is also called as parking position, Rebar of all sizes up to 12 meter length can be loaded. In order to start the hoist, operator who is on the ground floor has to first change to the rebar mode from the earlier cage mode. This simultaneously activates the rebar limit switch. The role of rebar limit switch is to sense the rebar position to ensure safety. This stops the hoist immediately once the rebar attachment is moved from its parking position. This is especially needed when rebar module is on the building at the time of unloading as the rebar limit switch turns off the power to the hoist from its main switch. Once the operator starts the hoist by selecting the appropriate floor selector, the hoist moves with a uniform speed of 30 meter per minute. The hoist automatically stops at the desired floor. The smooth ride of the hoist ensures that the 12 meter rebar is carried without any vibration or jerks, making it one of the safest means of rebar movement on site. A labor waiting on the top floor uses special handle to pull the rebar module and unload the rebar. Even while unloading, the module can be locked into position. For transferring passengers through the existing cage, a rooftop is attached to prevent any injury from falling debris from the top. A four-legged frame of rooftop is light in weight and easily carried to the cage, lowered into the brackets and holds the frame in position. A simple pin type arrangement locks the rooftop 
into the locations without any use of spanner. Labor is loaded in the cage one by one. And the last labor pulls the door with the help of railing provided on the side of the door. Once the door is locked, an additional handlebar is also locked into the position for additional safety. The cage can be operated manually from the control panel provided inside. This helps the operator to stop at any floor whenever needed. The cage control panel is simply provided with three buttons push type on and off button and mushroom type emergency switch. During the time of passenger movement, cage control panel is active. This ensures that at any given time only one control panel is active and prevents accidental operation when passengers are moving out or inside the cage. The ground control panel is fully loaded with the advanced control features which provides higher safety and easy operation. Control panel can be operated through both feather key in HMI or push buttons provided in control panel. In HMI, we can see the desired or selected floor, actual floor of the hoist and hour meter to indicate actual running hour of the hoist. Furthermore, HMI is provided with latest fault indicator systems like VFD trip, micro limit switch to indicate any fault in centrifugal brake, all limit switches indicator, phase failure indicator, etc. Entire programming, calibration and operation of the hoist can be done through the provided feather key. The control panel is equipped with audio-visual alarms and fault indicators similar to that in HMI. Two separate keys are provided to operate selection buttons. One is used to shift the hoist from manual to auto mode and the second one is to shift between rebar to cage mode. Thus, SMH comes with high performance combined with all necessary safety features making it the most advanced multifunctional hoist